And welcome back, everybody. It's Zero Designs here. And so glad you made it for another episode. Or, if it's your first time here, congratulations for passing every test and figuring out the answer, which was to click the video. Proud of you. Clop, 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 clop. Imagine that. Now, as you can read, and not to actually listen, if you were like, I muted the guy because I didn't really care what he said, you could see we're going to do a logo concept that was based on one that my friend did, or talked to me about. Not so much did. He doesn't draw. But he does enjoy it. He does enjoy me drawing. And see, that, that part works, sort of, right? I think he does. Maybe not. I don't know. He might leave a comment down here telling me he doesn't, but we went over this. And we were talking, and we went by a cell tower, and it was like, Hey, bro, look at the cell tower, because apparently he never seen the top of it, even though the job that we both work at has a giant tower, like right there. So he saw the base of it. I guess he never looked up, I don't know, something like that. And that was his idea. So that's what we jumped on. But since we're going to do that, I think this is a good time to cut. For the intro. Follow me, follow me. This is what you're waiting for. for. Alright, back from the intro. Hopefully, I had enough space in there for the audio cue for you guys to understand what just happened. But while you're watching this video, you might be like, why is he building a triangle if he said he was going to build a tower? So, in this case, I thought this was a perspective. This was like looking down, kind of more forward. I don't know, end up being like a triangle. But it, it, it turned out okay. You'll see. You'll see the finished picture. You're going to be like, mm, yeah, not bad. Mm, not bad. It wasn't bad. I liked it. I enjoyed creating it. You know, you guys see the 10 minute version. Didn't seem like he took long at all. Or any of those artists you watch. But mm, we take time. Next. Uh, I think it's the next episode. Uh, yes, next episode. Felt like it wasn't very long. But this one was a long one. This was like hours and change. I don't know. Um, it's sped up now. So I would I would say it was like eh, between the 55 minute mark. An hour and 15 minute mark. Somewhere in between there. And it, it just takes time. Like you detail and hand write. And you know, sometimes it, it's not. And I'll explain that later. If you continue to follow me. And you check out the next video that should be coming out the following day based on the schedule in my head. Hopefully it's right, because I don't really know. <laughs> uh, you know, I have videos kind of preparing ahead of time, future, future past. So this is me talking in the past for the future for you to watch, which might be the past. So I don't know. It's kind of kind of realizing that like time's a weird and funny concept that... I can't explain, so back to the video. Now, in this video, what we see? What, what, what part of this are we watching now? Um, okay, dark lines, small lines. Okay, good. So, yeah, there's this is called line waiting. Yes, I'm going to teach you information today. Is this what? He actually, it took him this long to figure out how to tell you something useful. You probably already know if you're an artist, too, but line waiting is apparently where you make lines darker you know big lines big beautiful dark lines to show weight on that particular area kind of makes it look like it's in the front and skinnier lines make them look farther back something to do with perspective yes i actually learned something every once in a while i knew about this i'm not complete idiot when it comes to art you guys might think otherwise that's okay i don't care do not care but I had a lot of fun doing this. I know I say that a lot like fun. You know, I'm not going to go into the whole Spongebob rendition of fun. I can do that, but we're not going there. Um, and technically, this is, would not relate to that version of fun anyways. Because I don't do anything with friends. So, <laughs> um, Yeah, no life. No life, bro. Anyways, back to the topic. Trying to stay on topic. Really hard. Um, line waiting. Learning. Where were we fun? Okay, yeah. I say fun a lot because it's like, I enjoy it. I mean, I legitimately enjoy this. I've done videos for YouTube before. I've enjoyed what I've done. I've actually had a harder time combining. So, I enjoy video games. 
I enjoy YouTube. I do not enjoy making videos about video games that much. Because it, it, it's like you're trying to force content into while you play. And that's really hard because you're like, I want to do this. And that's not really enjoyable to watch for two hours for somebody. Maybe it is for some of you. We all watch weird things. Who knows? But that's hard for me to like come up with something prevalent. And then I end up wasting a lot of time playing a game and getting no content. Getting frustrated. Being like, eh, I didn't like it. But I like both, and I like them separate. You know, maybe if I was, like, playing games with other people, I think I would probably do better. But just socially, like, trying to come up with ideas for games just doesn't work. For me, and everybody, there are people who know how to do it very well. Quite a few, actually. Me, I struggle with it. Art's different. Art, you're making content. It's legitimately all you are doing is focused on making content. That's how art is. It's not even meant to be quote-unquote content. It's just content, right? It's something that you create, therefore it becomes a form of content. So while I'm doing this, I'm enjoying the art level aspect of it. It is fun to create. It is fun to draw. Am I good at it all the time? No. Am I perfect at it? Definitely not. There's no such thing as perfection. You know, you can see in these white lines that I end up drawing, and I did... <laughs> horrible i just kind of guessed that like well this looks about right you know it wasn't perfectly straight but i did want some extra coloring and lighting and it looked okay at the end i enjoyed it but was it the best no but it's not about being the best it's just enjoying what you do and this is fun for me i don't know why staring at, a, at my ipad and drawing over same stupid lines over and over is enjoyable it's in most cases, not. But, I mean, they even had, like, one of those coloring books with crowns and all those other things that you had to buy for adults because apparently that was hip and trendy, like, three years ago. And now they're, like, on discount at every store you go to. But people enjoyed coloring because it was therapeutic. There's elements to it where you kind of blot out life. It's hard to think, okay? It really is. You do some thinking. There's some. But, like, if you really focused on what you're doing... It is really hard after spending time doing so to be like, man, I felt like I didn't really, you know, do anything. Or I did do that. You know, it's, it's a time killer. It's like watching TV and you go three hours and you're like, where did my life go? Yeah, for you guys who watch a lot of stuff. It's good to watch some, it's great to watch content, but go and actually enjoy your life too. You know, I watch too much TV and other things like YouTube and, you know, we all do it. Don't get me wrong. But there are other good time killers. This is one of them. You will not be mistaken. If you're criticizing yourself, yeah, art would be a very long, not easy thing. You know, if you're a very, very critical, I'm a very critical person. It's just who I am. I don't always like that, but... Yeah, I can be critical on myself, but, like, with art, I'm like, you know what? I'm never going to get better, ever, if I don't do it. And if I criticize myself to the point where I don't do it, then guess what I shouldn't probably do is criticize myself. Because there are aspects that my drawings aren't always perfect. My angle might not be quite 90 degrees, or my this might not be exactly right i get it close i try my best i work at it i make effort that's okay i'm not mad at what i do but at the same time i can't criticize myself to the point where i'm like oh, you can't do it yeah i can't i don't like myself like you're you are your own worst critic i will say this over and over you will say more horrible wretched things about yourself than someone else will in fact, you'll say horrible, wretched things about yourself as if somebody else told you them and it was them who created it. You think a conversation with a friend, you automatically assume the worst sometimes. You think, man, this is what they think of me. And they don't. Majority of the time, you're pretty off basis. Me who spends time observing people, am off basis a lot. And so you cannot take stuff too seriously. If you're not mad at it. If they say it to your face, 
maybe take it a little more seriously, but even then, figure out why. Why someone said it before you take the criticism or anything like that. If they say it out of a bad place, it's already void. Every time. So if it's in a bad place, none of it's constructive. Okay? Ever. If it's in a good place, maybe take a little bit to heart, but don't overdo it. Don't be like, yeah, I should stop what I'm doing because they told me this sucked. Or that's not really good. Or you could do better. Right? Then don't take it to the point where you don't want to do it. It's not worth it. Art's not worth it. Anything you do is not worth it. If you play a video game and you suck at it, go ahead. Keep playing. It's fun. It's enjoyable. Enjoy your time doing it. If you want to get better, work on getting better. Practice at it. But don't let someone else say you're horrible about it. Don't let yourself say you're horrible about that. And don't just stop doing it because you feel like you're horrible about it. I am not the best artist out there. But I probably am one who has a lot of enjoyment. And so I will continue to say I have fun. In a video, I have fun doing these rants and talks over it. I enjoy talking on, you know, the video. And it's going to be closing out soon, so I'm going to have to say my goodbye here soon. Uh, my kind of little closer. I, I messed up on the last one. I didn't give myself enough time. You know, I still don't really know how I want to close the video. Ever. I just don't. But know this. You are an amazing person. Keep that in your head. Don't let anyone else tell you otherwise. Don't even let me tell you otherwise. Because I am probably wrong. You're a good person if you try to be. You are, well, it's other point. But it's ending. I see it. It's closing. So this is the end.